Hi, I'm Lana Kelly, artist and uh, photographer, and this is Hudson Valley Art Speak. And um, today I'm going to be talking to Rick Gil Gilstad. He's an artist and a, um, a man of many talents. He, he makes, uh, uh, he, he builds all sorts of different things. He's a carpenter by trade, but he does these uh, great boxes, three-dimensional items that he's been uh, working on. And um, thanks for coming tonight, Rick. Well, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, I should um, remind everybody, though, when they're looking for your art, that as an artist, you're known as Eric's. Right. Yes, E-R-I-X yes. with an X. And um, so, Rick, you, you make these, these trays with um, all sorts of Americana and different items in them. And um, I was wondering if you could just tell me a little bit about this one with all these tins and, and different, um, and, and where do you get everything? Well, I spend a fortune on, um, uh, well, I have spent a fortune on eBay. I go uh -huh. to the flea market every week. And um, I've been doing it for eons. And um, so I've basically, I think I've collected everything there is to collect. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this particular tray has, um, uh, the theme is uh, red Americana, red advertising. Uh -huh. uh, and it's an ode to all the uh, artists that are all dead now that are responsible uh, for all these great graphics. And all I do is um, I put something together to make it look nice and one day, hopefully, we will educate the youngsters uh, that don't have a clue as to where they came from uh -huh. and how they got here. This particular piece is called uh, Main Street, and uh, the little razors on the bottom represent street lamps, uh. and the little red, uh, I use little red uh, Christmas tree ornaments as the street lights, and there's 13 of them, uh, so we remember the 13 original 13. colonies. So. Um, and it's, it's just, it's pleasant, and I do this um, to amuse myself and to amuse other people and to show people what's in their attic and what's in their drawers that people don't even know they have. Right, so. right. And this piece, you won an award with this piece at an, a, uh, at an advertising collector's show? I belong show? to the Antique Advertising Association of America, and it's basically, it's, it's a small organization, 400 and something people. Um, that are interested in antique advertising, and um, there's people there that, that are that have beautiful, beautiful things that I can't afford. I when I buy stuff, it's usually not what collectors want. They right. want they want the pristine pieces in the box. Uh -huh. I buy the ones that are ripped and shredded and wrinkled, and the corners are off. Uh, but I really think they have a lot more character. Yeah. So. Uh, but I did win the President's Award with this particular piece. Um, I think it was 2008. Um, I think I I'm have it sure. here. I'm not sure, yeah. 2008. Yeah. Let me just show this to everybody. The Pastimes oh Convention yes, is what like it was. Yeah, yeah. So so this, this you put together based on color. Um, yes. Yeah, and then you just you know went out and do, do you um, when when you do you think of uh, w when you're making a new piece? Do you, how do, how does that happen? Do you um, ha you know do you decide on red and then look um, for red things or just yeah I get a th I get some I somehow I come up with a theme uh -huh. and whether it's going to be. Um, red or blue or green or a holiday. I do months of the year. There's a Christmas uh, uh -huh. thing up there. And, and usually when I, I go, oh, I'm going to do something Christmas, then I just dig into my archives and I have tons of this stuff. And I just go in it and then if it's going to be like a red theme, well then it narrows down what I can use. And so it's more difficult to do just uh, one color, right, right. But it's it's just nice to look at. So, yeah, yeah. so I do come up with a theme, and then I work from there. Yeah. And in case you haven't noticed, I like it busy. Yes, yes. You, like it's, it, it's always packed I like full it like of an things. Overload, yeah. So you have to come yeah. up. It's like a carnival. It's right, just right. You just have to sit there and look at it and try to. Uh, yeah. Take it all in. Well, I've been to your studio, and your studio is like that too. It's just packed with um, not just created pieces, but but the um, what you use to create them. There's boxes and all sorts of collections and, yes. and different 
It's crazy the sickness, pieces it's the sickness all over I'm the trying place. to keep under control, <laughs> basically, is what it well, is. I guess this is a good way to uh, It keeps me to, home to and out of it. trouble. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your Christmas piece is really interesting because you have those, uh, a lot of those um, really nice old ornaments in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that you usually have kind of stories behind a lot of the pieces so um, like what the beads might represent or the or the little dolls in there what you know uh, basically uh, that's like uh, almost like a, a Christmas story or a Christmas wish uh -huh. it's like Christmas morning under the tree down on the bottom you have the packages yeah. for the little kids but the the main part of that is an old tin with Santa on it was in terrible shape and uh, I don't know where I got it. I think I got I got it with a lot or something. And yeah. I was going to throw it out, and I looked at it, and I go, oh, that's a great old Santa. Mm -hmm. We're going to resurrect him. He's not going to die. We're going to put him in there, <laughs> and he's going to stay for as long as we can keep him in there. And all the, um, I use the, uh, I, what, what do you call it, the garland or the, the uh, little. Yeah, the beads. I, they, they're just flow out of there. It's yeah. just like Christmas is flowing out of this box, and it happens. And, yeah. And it, it just gives me a lot of uh, fun to do. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I do uh, enjoy looking at yeah. them. Yeah. So, um, you, have you been um, always been an artist? Have you always, you know? Uh, uh, no. 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 I, I, my formal art training was uh, high school art with uh, my art teacher Bernie Watkins. Uh -huh. he, was a, he was a great guy, but I basically ended up in the class because I needed a credit. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the art class and, uh, I, I, and I found out early on that I really can't paint pictures so yeah. I basically I paint with pieces mm -hmm. that's what I do mm -hmm. and now with the computer if I photograph this I can paint on the computer but I you know with a brush to canvas it's not me. Yeah. So. You started off with those bigger wall hanging pieces. Uh, are, do you, are you still making any of those? I, I am. I am. Um, I actually started with the trays. Oh, uh, really? And my first tray was 1980. Uh huh. Um, and I have I've done dozens of these. And then I I do the three dimensional. We don't have any today because it's no, raining. Well, well, actually, we have on the wall. There's there's one representation of, of uh, the, the flowering time piece. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Um, that's. That's it's a great piece. It's very detailed, very yeah. intense. You can tell there's there's a little German blood, yeah, uh, mixed in with the Norwegian, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's uh, uh, I don't know. It just it's not simple or, you know, right? But, no. But I don't I don't do simple. I it yeah. doesn't work for me. Yeah. So I need to. So I amuse myself, and this is what I do, mm -hmm. and uh, just take pieces and. Put them together. Yeah, um, this one behind me. You said it. It represents. Uh, it's a very political piece. It's. You could say that's. Uh, it's, that's Congress right there. Uh -huh. uh, dysfunctional. Um, you have uh, conservatives and uh, Democrats, <laughs> and they just sit there, and those wrenches just remind me of crusty old politicians just yelling at each other. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but nothing gets done. Right. So right. they just sit there, and it's a standoff and a stalemate. And right. Stagnated, and, yeah, and, and, and I have another one that's um, almost done. I, I was going to bring it, but it's not quite finished. Right. It's basically where Congress comes together, kisses, and makes up and uh -huh. gets something done for our country. Wow, let's hope that uh, yeah, that's a predictive yeah. piece yes. for yes. you know. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah. So, how long does it take to to make a piece? Um, you know, it it can take uh, several years yeah. and it can take um, one evening yeah. and one of my most complex pieces uh, that I ever did it's a three dimensional and it's got hundreds of pieces uh -huh. in it. Um, um, my wife always recalled that I did it in one night because I suffer from insomnia and, uh. Uh, and uh, she said you put the whole thing together in one night because you hadn't started it the night before and it was done the next morning yeah. when I got up you showed it to me really and so they can take an overnight or they can take years. Some of them I start and I can't, I, I get to a point and I can't go any further and I just put it down and then come back to it whenever I you know, have an idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, your house too is kind of filled with things that other people overlook. I, I know you have collections of the Statue of Liberty uh, yes. and 1950s. Oh, we, I collect, I collect ugly. You know, yeah. I was uh, one of my customers I used to work for was an art collector, and he 
he bought a couple of my pieces and I don't know that he felt sorry for me, but he, <laughs> he paid me well for them. But he was the one that told me he's, uh, about art. Uh, he says, if it's good art, it makes you feel, it either makes you feel happy or sad uh -huh. or angry. And um, it made a lot of sense to me. And uh, so I try to do something that makes me feel good uh -huh. rather than bad. Even the political thing makes me feel good. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the way it is, but uh, yeah. making it was fun. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and so, and I have uh, a lot of uh, one-liners, and art mm -hmm. is in the eye of the beholder. Not everybody likes this kind of art. Right. They might like, um, you know, simple, or they might like painting or photographs. Mm -hmm. So, art's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. And you're doing some photography, though, now, aren't you? I've done quite a bit of photography lately, a lot more than I've done this. Uh-huh. Um, and um, I have a lot of fun with that also. Yeah, I yeah. paint with the computer. Uh huh. And you live right on the Great Swamp, so do you take a lot of pictures out I in the take, swamp? I take, when I get the camera out, I'll take a couple hundred shots. Yeah. And uh, it's not like film days, Lana. Right, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, and I won't, take a, I won't take a picture for six months. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm not dedicated like you are here. I was always told if you're going to be a photographer, you got to have a camera with you. Yeah. Uh, which I don't. Yeah. And I usually don't uh, don't usually have my cell phone with me, which pees a lot of people off. And yeah. I'm not good with email on a computer, like you know. Wow, no. that makes you a hard guy to get in touch with. <laughs> well, I know, I know, but it also keeps me in a vacuum where yeah. you know. So what you see is good old honest New York art here. I'm, yeah. I'm exposed to Art East, or I belong to the Putnam Arts Council. Uh huh. Um, I don't go to a lot of galleries, yeah. I, you know, and I, I'm, you know, I'm exposed to what I'm exposed to, but I'm, you know, this is good old honest yeah. uh, from the heart. You have a website? I, I think I do. You do? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, ericsarts.com. Dot com, right, where and people And it's E-R-I-X arts.com. Yeah, so people could go see more of your work on there. Yes, yeah. and I think we're going to upgrade that also. Uh -huh. uh, not me personally, but a good friend that's uh, standing just out of camera <laughs> one chair. <laughs> yeah, so you, I, I haven't seen these smaller pieces yet. I, this is the first time I saw these smaller pieces mm -hmm. was tonight, and I was wondering, have you been working on them for a long time, or is this um, a new direction? No, it's basically, I bought these nice, uh, they were drawers out of an old cabinet uh -huh. from, from the flea market, and I go, oh, I might like to do some small things. Yeah. So uh, I did uh, one dedicated to uh, Our Liberties. Uh-huh. And... Uh, I uh, was so showing you before that uh, yeah. it's got 13 stars for our uh -huh. original colonies. You want to make sure that you always remember where we came from. And always remember this lady right here and what she stands for, liberty, is very important. Uh, we have less and less all the time, yeah. but, but uh, it still works. You yeah, know? it it's still works. It still right. works. That's yeah. right. That's right. And then you, you have, um, y now you said the one with the 7-Up. Um, was political also that I call party lines. Yeah, and if you can do a close up on party lines, the the top the one bottle is probably your conservatives, uh -huh. and the case is probably your liberals, <laughs> and uh, they both want the same thing, only different. You right. know, whatever is good right. for America. That's yeah. what, this is how you're going to go about doing it, and you know. The liberal might use the case where the Republicans will just use one bottle at a time. What you know, and yeah. you can you know. It's yeah. Like, yeah. So. Well, believe it or not, our time is up. I'm and, sorry uh, to hear that. It really just flies right by. And and thanks for coming tonight. And um, everybody should look forward to seeing Rick at the Open Studio tour. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's been a pleasure, and thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, this is special. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, Thank you.